Hi guys, welcome to another segment of Esteem of Relax Wednesdays with me, Francine. So I thought this week my topic would be time management, but time management from the perspective of respect. Number one, me respecting my own time, but then me respecting yours. So I need to qualify upfront. There have been times in my life when I have been a no-show and when I have been late for appointments. When I am late for appointments, if I realize I'm going to be late for an appointment, I contact the person immediately and let them know I'm stuck in traffic or whatever it is. But I let them know. And I let them know because I want them to have the option to either reschedule, because depending upon what other appointments they have, or say, okay, I'll wait. You know, I'll be here when you get here. Just keep me posted. But I've also missed appointments. And when I've missed appointments and discovered that I did, I have to tell you, I have become so responsible in my life today that if I miss an appointment, honestly, it tears me up. And I immediately contact the person and apologize and, and, and ask if there was a way I could make it up. But I genuinely apologize. I don't just flippantly say, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I really genuinely am sorry for it. And I let them know. That gives them, you know, the feeling that I do, you know, they, they matter. Their time matters as much as I want my time to matter. So I bring that up because this week I had three potential clients contact me and schedule appointments through my online portal. One of them, um, all three of them, by the way, missed the appointment. One of them contacted me right away and apologized it. And actually, she had a really valid excuse. And I believe in second chances as long as the person is genuinely making an amend. So I rescheduled. And you know what? I believe her. It's not a problem. Two others made the appointment online and, and did not show up. I haven't heard anything from them. And what that says to me is not only do they not respect their time, but obviously they're not respecting mine. And it says to me that they must have just found something that was more important to do instead of keeping a commitment. So this becomes problematic for me because I am a commitment keeper. You know, I'm the person that I give a lot of leeway uh, to people, less so to someone that I really don't know if they just, you know, wasting my time. But even my friends, you know, I give a lot of leeway. You know, you can miss a few appointments, you have a valid reason. But when it becomes habitual, when it becomes a habit that you don't show up for appointments or, or you show up late, that tells me that I'm just not important to you. And so if I'm not important to you, why should I waste my time, put, put time on my calendar when I could be doing something that I do believe is important? when you're obviously letting me know that I'm not important to you. So I brought that up because I want you to think about how do you value your time, but how do you value the time of other people? You know, I've come to believe that how I manage my time is an indicator of how I manage my life. So that's, that's a thought for this week. Are you late? Are you someone who's always showing up late? You always show up either after the time you're supposed to be somewhere, or do you just skirt right under the, the time? You know, do you just skirt right a minute before and you consider that being on time? Is that you? Or are you the person who just doesn't show up for commitments at all and you figure, well, too bad. You know, whatever it is, it's some food for thought this week. How we manage our time is about how we manage our lives and how we manage our time is about not only respecting us, you know, ourselves, but it's about respecting other people. Because every time you don't keep a commitment, every time you show up late, every time you just don't show up at all, and then get mad if someone says something to you, that's really an indicator of how you look at yourself as well. So it's an esteemable act, an esteemable act to be respectful of not only your time, but respectful of the time of other people. Okay, that's it for now. I'm Francine. This is Esteemable Acts Wednesdays with me, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.